Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Fugu Cottage where we talk all things we need to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is my trading 212 experimental portfolio update. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So yes, I feel like I've not done one of these trading to updates in ages and that's because to be honest, I hadn't put in some money for quite a while and then last month decided to put some more in, which wasn't the plan at all when I first started this and I'll leave a link below to my first video about my trading 212 portfolio. I said I was going to put in £25 every other week and I did do that for a while but then they changed their kind of terms and conditions and I kind of just took a step back for a while but then last month I did put in some more so let's get started so the first thing I'm going to show you oh and also if you've not got a free trade app yet feel free to use the fill link below and you will get a free share worth up to £200 I did my free trade portfolio update last week for you which I'll leave a link down below this is trading two and two my second experimental portfolio it's got a different focus point to the free trade one that's the only difference so here we go this is what my portfolio looks like at the time of recording you can see there says 802 pound and 43 pence that actually might fluctuate while i was really filming but just over 800 pound there which is good i'm happy with that if i go to like the week thing you can see there it's fairly steady that little dip there was when i sold a couple of holdings and then reinvested in a different thing but it's, it's kind of steady overall you can see there the return there overall is 29 pound that was quite a lot higher so if we go back to three months it was nearly 830 pound overall but it's kind of dipped in the last kind of couple of weeks but plus 29 pound isn't bad so if i go to investments first of all this is going to look like the longest list and it's because to do with these pies that trading two on two do but if i scroll down to show you all of my investments these are all the individual companies that i am invested in most of these are with these or within these pies that trade in 212 do a couple of them i'm invested both in the pie and then outside as well but you can see here and you can see also the the kind of amounts that that are there so alf the alphabet ones in both pies it's why it's slightly more and things like so at t i've invested that within the investment pie but i've also invested a tiny bit of that outside of that but look at all these really big names now the point of this portfolio as opposed to free trade one which is purely growth and my early retirement one which is purely dividend based this is actually a combination of both so all of these companies pay dividends and look how many of them are such big names so these are all quite stable companies as well as as far as you can say that i suppose so lots of big big names here which is good coca-cola is another one there you can see that i have got slightly more in so i've invested that within a pie but it's also outside of it as well and scrolling down there's lots of big names here like i said a couple more so what else so johnson and johnson i've also got slightly more in and there's one more further down is there microsoft as well and there we go realty income also has got slightly more invested in but the majority of them are inside these investment pies i'll just go to the bottom so you can see all of these there's so many when you scroll down like this and the reason for that is it, it's to do with these investment pies so if i go back up and click on that tab you can see there that i've got two so i've got the daily dividends one and the fang one so if i talk about the daily dividends first first of all there are 50 companies within this and they pay out i think it's 281 times a year so 281 days of the year i get a dividend income from this investment pie now obviously if i click on here you can see the dividend income received so far is two pounds 16. so when i say that there's 281 days where i get dividend income we're talking pennies we're not talking a lot of money however you know over time five or ten years down the line that should be starting to become quite a good figure and that's the point of this so if i go and you can see it this is plus 25 pound and 20 pence so far so if I go on holding, so like I said, this has got 50 different individual investments within it. I do like this investment pie feature. So when you add money, it kind of does it, allocates it to different things. You can change the percentages you want it to be. You can see so, so all of these companies pay dividends. And there are such big companies in this, right from the sale, you've got Apple, Johnson Johnson, 3M, Pep PepsiCo, Procter, all of these companies are companies that have been around like forever they they continuously pay dividends and have done for so many years the chances of them not doing that feel like it's fairly slim obviously you, you can never be totally sure on that but they're fairly 
reliable in terms of paying dividends out. If I just scroll all the way down here, so most of these are also a point to make. Most of the companies within this trading 212 experimental portfolio are American based. And these all pay dividends. My early retirement portfolio is exclusively dividend based, but most of the time that is UK companies and a mixture of funds from, from kind of emerging markets to UK based to American based. This is purely bar two, I think, American based companies that pay out. So that's that in terms of the dividend investment pie. Then if I go back, this is one, this is the growth section. So the daily dividends was the dividends. This is the growth part of my portfolio. But as you can see, she says, it's minus 39 pence at the moment, so it's going well. But that's the beauty, I suppose, of investing. It does go up and go down. This, this a couple of weeks ago was much further up than that. Also, you can see I have received eight pence worth of dividend income in this one, but that's like an extra bonus in this growth section. I don't invest in any of these companies in this for their dividends. I invest in these because they have the potential, although not apparently today, to grow and grow. And of course, everything that I talk about in these videos is not personal finance advice. This is just what I'm doing. You need to do your own research. You can see, so there's 12 companies in this one, so there's a lot less, but they are the kind of, I suppose, the kind of tech giants that we all know. Um, and some of them are doing okay, and then others, so like Tesla has dropped, hasn't it, this week quite a lot. Apple has a bit as well, although their results were quite good. So it just goes up and down as always, but that's that. That's the overview of there. <clears throat> and there's not as much invested in that to begin with either. So in terms of how it looks, oh, it's already changed. It's already gone up to plus 28.82 while I said being recorded. That just fluctuates daily on a daily basis. And what I would say, so that all of those things are minus at the moment. I'm not worried. I don't intend to sell until much further down the line. The only reason I would sell something, because I've sold a couple of things in my free trade portfolio recently, if I no longer genuinely believe that that company no longer is viable or fits in with what I want for my investment portfolio, I would sell. And then even then, I probably wouldn't sell. I'd just hold it and not buy any more and just sell it at a later date. Unless I, unless for some like, unless I've already got a massive profit and wanted to, uh, capital gains, I wanted to, to kind of cash in on that. Or I really just wanted the money back out because they were kind of looking like they were gonna kind of drop out, so to speak. They're the only two reasons why I would sell a company or anything to do with my investments. I have taken on a couple of occasions, like I've sold for quite a good profit and taken out the initial investment and left the rest in there and then reinvested that somewhere else. But obviously with your portfolios, you need to decide what is right for you, but that is my trading to you portfolio update for you for where are we with May. Have you got an investment account with trading two and two? How is yours looking? Let me know in the comments below. I love talking to people about their investment journeys. Hopefully this will inspire you to start your own. You can start from as little as £10 a week and see where it goes. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again very soon.